Welcome friends. Today we will see an example problem uh, of multivariable function and its Taylor series approximation. So here is the problem. Find the Taylor series approximation of the function up to second order. That is important. Up to second order and the function is having three independent variable and the function is this about the point x star. So we know if f is a function and if it is infinitely con many continuous at some point x star so f of x will be f of x star plus derivative uh, differential f of x star plus 1 by 2 second differential f of x star okay plus 1 by 3 factorial third differential this plus so on. So here it is says that up to second order. So up to second order means you have to consider up to this. Okay. So now we will see what is this differential. Okay. If n is the number of variables. Okay. R is the order. Then dr f of x star will be this summation of summation from i equal to 1 to n summation j from 1 to n summation k from 1 to n h i h j h k now this will be del r f x star divided by del x i del x j up to del x k Okay, so this is a general form of the differential, R is a differential, where these are the R sum summations. Okay, now in this problem, if we see how many uh, independent variables are there, so we have n equal to 3. Okay, and uh, what is the R? R order is 2. Now we will find, find this. So for that, what we need? We have to find f of x star, df of x star, 1 by 2 factorial, d2 f of x star. So, f of x star is very easy, only that x star, this point we have to put here. So, here 1 represents, here I can write x1 equal to 1, x2 equal to 0 and x3 equal to minus 2. And you can write a star because we are using the star notation. So if I put this value here, then we will get this one f of 1, 0, minus 2. So if I put this, then we will get e to the power minus 2, f of 1, 0, minus 2. So it will be e to the power minus 2. Okay. That you can get. Next thing is that you have to find d f x star. So d f x star is what that in this form we can write as r equal to 2 it will be 1 2 3 j from 1 2 3 h i h j okay del 2 f x star okay divided by del x i okay del x j but you see this is two summations so it will be what d2 okay similarly d f x star will be what only summation this so i can write it as this i equal to 1 to n h i del f x star by del x i so if i expand it okay and write it then what we will get? This we will get h1 del f x star by del x1 plus h2 del f x star by del x1 sorry it will be del x2 plus h3 del f x star by del x 3 okay 
so if i write this and if i find the partial derivative uh, that is del f by del x1 del f by del x2 del f by del x3 then put x star value then what we will get we will get this one okay we will get this one that is df of 1 0 minus 2 it will be h1 e to the power minus 2 plus s3 e to the minus 2 okay now similarly third one that is d2f f d2f of x star what we will get this is h1 square del 2f x star by del x1 square plus h2 square del 2f x star by del x1 sorry x2 square plus h3 square del 2f x star by del x32 plus 2h1 h2 del 2f x star divided by del x1 del x2 plus 2h1 h3 del 2f x star by del x1 del x3 plus 2h2 h3 del 2f x star divided by del x2 del x3 so here we have to find uh, two partial derivatives and after finding the partial derivative we, if we put x star value and if we compute all these uh, five, six terms and add then we will get this one minus 4 h2 square plus e to the power minus 2 uh, h3 square plus 2 h1 h3 e to the power minus 2 this one we will get ok so finally what to do we have the approximate up to this that means we got this value this value and this value now we have to add so how to add f of x will be nearly equal to this, this value that is this plus this value this one then 1 by 2 factorial times that d2 f 1 0 minus 2 so finally we will got we will get this one ok now the thing is that uh, what is h1 h2 s3 so we know the formula ok in the formula what happens x will be x star plus h ok but h is what h1 h2 h3 3 ok so this one and x star is what x1 star x2 star ok x3 star this star suppose so if we add these things and if we uh, find so h1 will be what x1 minus 1 h2 will be what x2 h3 will be s x3 minus 2 means only thing we have to that h will be x minus x star but x star is this one 1 0 minus 2 and x is what x1 x2 x3 so x1 minus 1 this one x2 minus 0 ok then x3 minus of minus 2 that is x3 plus 2 ok so uh, this finishes the problem and this is the final expression uh, of uh, the Taylor series up to second order for this function.